do you use? Spoilers. 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 I like that word. I thought you might. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Now today we'll be looking at one of the lesser known incarnations of the Master, the Tsun Master. Now for those not aware of who the Tsun Master is, that's not surprising, as he only ever appeared in three stories, two Virgin New Adventures novels and one short anthology story. Now it's worth saying at this point that not everyone regards the Virgin New Adventure novels as canon, and I myself only regard certain aspects of them as canon. But in the interest of providing a comprehensive view of all of the Master's different incarnations, I decided that it was worth making this video. Now this incarnation also takes place in the middle slash near end of the Ainley timeline for reasons that will become clear. And whilst I will be doing a video or videos on the Ainley incarnation in future, I decided it was best to do this as a standalone video that I can then reference back to when it comes to doing those videos, rather than just having to bring this all up in the middle of a video about Ainley's incarnation. So. Let's begin. The Tsun Master first appears in the novel First Frontier. In this novel, the Master, still in his Ainley body, became trapped on Earth in 1957 without his TARDIS, having escaped the Cheetah Planet, but still partly under its influence. Interrupting a Soviet satellite launch, the Master sends a distress signal to a race known as the Tsun, offering them the opportunity to assimilate Earth into their confederacy in exchange for taking him away from the Earth and allowing him to use their genetic engineering technology to remove the cheetah virus from his DNA, which was causing his stolen Ainley body to fail. Accepting his offer, the Tsun gave him a form of nanites called Tsunites, which broke down the remaining infected Traconite DNA in his body and restructured it around his existing Time Lord DNA, meaning that not only was he now cured of the cheetah virus, but his Ainley body had now become fully Time Lord giving him a new regeneration cycle. However, soon after being restored, he was shot by Ace, causing him to regenerate into the Tsun Master, who then used a Statenheim remote control built from Tsun technology to summon his TARDIS and escape. Now I'm going to sidestep a moment to set the picture for you regarding this incarnation. This new incarnation was described as having a high forehead, aristocratic nose and lean face offset by a Van Dyke beard and spoke in a rich, cultured voice. And a latter story describes his normal clothing as a dark Italian designed suit, a silk shirt with a cravat and a silver tie pin in the shape of a bird of prey. And according to First Frontier's author David A. McKinty, this incarnation's appearance was based on Basil Rathbone as he appeared in The Adventures of Robin Hood. This incarnation next appeared in the short anthology story Housewarming. In this story he laid a trap for the Doctor in the form of a device that would release energy to destroy the TARDIS as it materialised. Luckily, however, Sarah Jane Smith, Mike Yates and K9 managed to destroy the device and the Master once again fled. His final appearance to date was in the Virgin New Adventures novel Happy Endings. In this story he obtained a device known as the Loom of Rassilon's Mouse, with the goal of using it to strengthen his new body and make himself virtually indestructible. However, this plan failed when, due to a timey-wimey event, Bernie Summerfield's wedding ended up taking place in the same location he had planned to enact his own plans, and with the Doctor, several in fact, being among Bernice's guests, his plans were exposed and the Master managed to escape once again, but by this time hypnotising another attendee to act as a decoy, allowing him to slip away. Now at this point, what happens to the Tsun Master becomes a little unclear due to various contradicting continuities, some of which gloss over the Tsun Master existing entirely. However, the generally accepted continuity to the Tsun Master's end is that the Tsunites he used to transmogrify the Ainley body into a full Time Lord body began to fail him, reverting him back into the failing Ainley body, stripping him of his new regeneration cycle, which is where we move back into Ainley's timeline. This would add up with continuities such as how some fans, myself included, have used this idea of the Ainley body failing to explain Ainley's aged appearance in the game Destiny of the Doctors, and the continuity of Big Finish's dust breeding, which sees the Master once again reduced to his decayed beaver's form, having lost the Ainley body once and for all. But that is another video. On a final note for those interested, I have recently updated my fan theories video on the Master's chronology and where exactly I think certain incarnations come in. So if you're interested to know my thoughts on the Tsun Master, 
please go and check out that video. But that brings to a close another a brief history. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it helps me out a lot. I'm sure to go the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way. It's your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.